Well, Friday. It's a not too bad day actually. It's a lot less smoky than it was yesterday. Got uh, let's see what we're working with. Got bundles laying all over the damn place. Trying to find you see stump, 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 stump. Big rock. Where's the rock? Right there. Stump. Little stop. Stump, stump. Try and throw this one in between that stump tree and this bundle. Try and save it out. Running uh, my new 500i. Trying out a seven pin sprocket on it. Got a full comp organ chain with a organ 34 inch bar that I've been checking out. Um, yeah, maybe we'll set you here, then I'll rotate it. Yeah, see how it does. It pulls it all right. It's a little, I don't know, I'm just not, never cared for a 7.2 sprocket. They just feel, they feel slow. Not sure how I ground this chain last night. And it's not too bad. Got, how is it? 920. We've been here for two, three hours, two and a half, three hours now cutting. It might be a little dusted just because this stuff's so dirty, but it's alright.
Yeah, so that was the seven tooth. I mean, chain could be better. It's throwing, well, that was just because it was kind of cross cutting. So throwing out some long shavings, but there's the regular. Throwing chips, but they could be better. I missed my undercut on the first go. Got it right exactly where I wanted it though. It was leaned up the hill, but that's what the hole looks like up the hill. Whole crap ton of bundles, so that was the only spot I could have put it to try and save it out. Not that it matters too much out here, because this stuff is freaking... Yeah, it's awful. Getting dried out. They break if you just look at them wrong, so... I think pretty soon where they're just gonna be only able to salvage the butt cuts out of this stuff. But yeah, not too bad. Fuck log off it. On to the next one. Well, maybe I'll swap the sprocket out for an eight tooth here in a bit and take another video for comparison. See if this chain's doing okay still. Looks like it might have some beat up corners. Might have to swap it in a bit too, but yeah, third day on it. So far, I just got the West Coast saw side cover because the steel stock one is just a a pile. Tried out his the West Coast three point dogs, but those freaking things, you know, they're three point, but they stick out to here. It's just way too damn grabby. Don't care for the angle at all of those ones. So put my five points back on. I got a bark box on the exhaust just because I had one laying around from when I. Bought it with my first 500 of last year, the, Jesus, a couple years ago? I don't even know, time flies by, but uh, yeah, I prefer the Egan Straight Shot personally, just cause they're a little cheaper and they're a lot tougher. You'll never break one of those things. Heard quite a few of these things falling apart. Performance wise, I haven't noticed any difference. I think personally they do just about the same exact thing the Egan shot seems like it uh, has a little more get up on the throttle, you know, just because it's, I mean, that freaking hole in that thing's that big around. It flows a lot more, and it's it's quite a bit louder. These bark boxes are quite a bit quieter. But, yeah, I like his. They're tougher, a little cheaper. I don't think go wrong with either one. 
get one or the other can't go wrong it'll do you good all right we'll talk to you later all right oh what is he there uh eight tooth sprocket try it now same chain just threw an eight tooth on there see what she's like feel like it won't quite have the power for it that. Seven tooth or eight tooth, maybe a full skip chain. It'd probably pull it pretty decent for a 34 inch bar. It did all right. I ran a 36 inch lightweight steel on it yesterday with a full skip chain, and it did all right. This one leaned up the hill too, but I don't know if I want to throw it in that mess. I'll just wedge it down the hill. it up a little more I don't know it might be the chain too it doesn't take much to <coughs> slow it down out here freaking dirty stuff might need to swap it out we'll see we'll see what happens partner he's up the hill now he's right there so now I gotta drop back down here and Start squaring the edge of my strip up because he's out of the way now. Let him get his lower side down here. So I came over here. This is the last one. 
in this section I got this strip of them right along the road here that's it since we got 10 another hour and a half try and see we got one three seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen oh I don't know 17 18 trees might be a couple more hidden in there somewhere a couple more hours Let's see if we can get her get her squared up at least be the air filter too. This is my third day on it. I usually don't like to run them more than two days out here. You can feel a difference. Start getting plugged up. That might be. The case. I really hate these new steel design. You can see. Maybe you can see. All that crap that goes right through the screw. You know, it seals all around here. That's all clean. Nothing gets by the filter. All that crap's coming right in down through the middle. I think this weekend oh, I've got the West Coast Saw Velocity Stack on my Franken 500. So I'll rob it. I'll throw it on here and we got a couple of these intakes now. I think I'm gonna cut one up, cut that little rim off it for better airflow. And I got one somewhere. I can't find it. <laughs> My first 500, I put a screw in it and modified it to have an old, just a regular screw tab. And I was looking at these the other day. The Max Flow cage is exactly the same as the old saws. All that's different is the top plate. So if you take, you can put a screw in the top here and just put a regular, you know, 460, 660 top plate of the Max Flow, you know, and then you'll have one that seals properly around the screw and won't let nothing in. All you gotta do is just get the old twist style knob and throw it in here. I mean, yeah, look how much crap is coming through that thing. Horrible design. Could have done much better, but yeah, there's the filter after. Two and a half days in the burn. It's pretty plugged. Yep. Oh yeah, I'll throw this in there. Get some of my partner here. Cut one down.
Oh, he's got two of them. throw this if I get a wild hair throw this in the video somewhere Give him a little wedging action. she goes oh yeah that's what we got to deal with all day long he's also got a YouTube his name is Drew Mayer M I believe it's M E Y E R I'll know for sure when I get home I'll put the his name in the description I tried to tag his account but for some reason YouTube wouldn't let me. There was like 50 different Drew Mayers, but none of them were the right one. I don't know why it wouldn't let me. All right then. All right, here's the next one. <clears throat> I don't know if we'll get. This might be the last tree for the video I'll throw in. Nothing else too exciting in these ones. I don't know, maybe I'll throw, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do, but anyway. Just in bulk. There you go, it's a little better. Got this one, leaned up the hill. There's a pretty good hole between these two trees and that stump, so I'm gonna throw it right in through there. Knock down a couple of these little suckers here. Oh yeah, soft chain out. Oh, I think the air filter definitely was plugged, so might have to do some more comparison testing between the sprockets next weekend, but yeah, took the filter off and wiped it down. I usually don't go more than two days on a filter, and that's why. But yeah, it's doing way better now. Wiped the filter off and uh, threw on a full comp organ chain because the other one I did notice a few teeth were getting shiny and blunt on the tip, so time to change it. This one's doing much better.
Got a little, a little bit of Zalus on my undercut. Here's something to show you real quick. Good example why I like to heist up a lot of these piss furs out here in certain areas. Uh, see how rotten that is? Come up. What was that? A foot? Completely solid. Sometimes that. Root rock crap. We'll clear it up pretty quick. Here's my ugly face. Got a little overzealous on the undercut. Oh well, can't win them all. Really good spot for this one. Right here should be a good view. As long as I hit this hole. Not the tree and throw a bunch of shit back here.
was leaned up the hill. I guess not though. Uh, hard to say out here, the wind likes to change direction every couple freaking minutes. Not too bad. Nice one. Get on through the rest of these and finish the day out. Go burn another tank. Get this squared up and go home. <clears throat> but yeah, I think that'll probably be the video. Try and keep getting some more uploads. Look at this damn mountain of wood we got here. I mean, hard to Hell, but I mean, shoot, it's way over here. There's a sea of logs, and here's the here's the landing right there. There's a skitter pulling up the hill. I mean, yeah, it goes freaking. You can see where that dust is. That's the bottom of the unit. It goes all the way down there, wraps underneath this 
kind of ledge into here and they're going to pull it up the hill and then all the rest of this stuff all the way out till oh let's see here i think right there's the cutoff that all those rows of trees that's in our that there's a road right here wrapping around everything below the road's coming back to here where we're at well i know they got another landing right here i don't know if they're actually going to use it or not they try to not move as much as possible but and it's an uphill skid to this landing but it's a lot shorter so maybe they won't yeah we got a sea of logs out here on the ground might if you're wondering if it's looking slow on the videos that's because it is slow <laughs> i never try and work very hard on the videos because then people wouldn't have anything to bitch about Gotta give them something to bitch about. Otherwise, they get bored. Don't want to watch your videos anymore. If you do a perfect job, no one wants to see that all day. I usually oh, try and show my mediocre work on the videos. Give give people some more excitement. But hit my hole pretty good. Look at that. Not too bad not too bad all right enough screwing around we'll see you in the next one today's friday got a good weekend coming up do some relaxing enjoy it got a tree to climb this weekend as well maybe i'll throw my gopro on get a video of that might be kind of cool something different but yeah Everyone have a good weekend.